Hello everyone, now in this video, I will let you know in detail about one home automation product which I received from banggood.com. We'll talk about its features and also learn how to use it. And in the end, I will announce one giveaway of this product. So watch this video till the end and I will let you know how good this product is. So let's get started. Anyone can guess it as it is a 4 channel home automation product by looking at this 4 channel relay arrangement. So this device has built in Wi-Fi so we can think of controlling appliances from our mobile phone. But let's see how we can do that. So this product comes with an user manual on which you will get all the details about downloading the app and conducting appliances. So let's start by downloading the app. So we will scan this QR code through our phone. I am doing it on my iPhone but I guess the process will be same for both Android and iOS. Ok so this QR code redirected me to one app called EWE link. So let's just download it. This same application is used in Sonoff so this product is similar to a 4 channel Sonoff. Ok so let's open this app. After that if you already have an account in this website then you just need to log in. Otherwise, make a new account here. Fill up the details and after that you will get a verification code which you need to enter here. Ok, then create a password for your account and yeah, you are done with making an account. Now for further setup on our application, we first need to power up our product. So we will connect the live and neutral wire and plug that into our AC power socket. So as you can see the green LED is blinking here which indicates the Wi-Fi status and this blue LED indicates the mode of this device. This device has three modes which we can change by clicking on this button. I will let you know the function of each mode later in this video. And I guess this portion contains the Wi-Fi and microcontroller chip. Still let's remove the sticker and see. Ok perfect. So this is the Wi-Fi portion of this board. Ok, now we will bring our phone back and click on this plus button at the bottom. Ok, so it shows quick pairing mode in which we need to press and hold one button on the device for 5 seconds to put that device into quick pairing mode. So let's just press and hold the button for 5 seconds. Ok, so as you can see the LED starts blinking according to that blue dot on our smartphone which reveals that our device is in quick pairing mode. So now we'll click on this next. Now here you need to enter your Wi-Fi credentials. Hey, make sure your smartphone is also connected to that same Wi-Fi network. Otherwise it won't work. So after providing credentials, click on next. It will take some time to make your device gets connected to the router. Okay, so yeah, this device is connected. Now we need to give a friendly name to our product. I will name it as SMS automation. Now click on complete. Then got it. So as you can see it has already created a 4 channel dashboard according to our device. Now we can easily turn on and off the relay with the application. As you can see the red LED on the board turns on and off according to the button I am pressing. Have you noticed one thing? Here I am able to turn on only one relay at a time. As soon as I turn on the second relay, the first relay goes off. Why so? Now let's talk about the mode. So in this mode where the green LED is turned on, you will be able to turn on only one relay at a time. Let's switch the mode by pressing this mode button. So in this mode where the red LED is turned on, we can control all four relays individually. We can turn on multiple relays in this mode. We can even control all relays at a time by pressing this button at the bottom. Now let's switch the mode again. And in this mode where the blue LED is turned on, you can turn on single relay at a time with a predefined time interval of 1 second. As you can see, I am turning on the relay and it automatically gets turned off after a second. So these were the three modes 
but I will suggest you to select the mode with the red LED as I think it's the most convenient one. Then at the bottom of the applications, we have more options like schedule and timer. Let's go inside the timer. So here we can set a particular time for turning on or turning off the relay. So let's try it out. So I'll create a timer of one minute after which the relay at channel one will turn off. Let's click on save and wait for a minute. As the relay one is already on, after a minute it should get turned off. So yeah, it turned off automatically after a minute. Then we have another option called schedule in which we can set the date, month, year and time for turning on or off the appliances, which is also great. Now I will connect the appliances at its output according to the diagram shown in the manual. So here I have attached live wires of four bulb at different live output and I have created one common neutral wire which goes inside one of the slot of neutral output. So this is the connections and now let's see everything in action. of this product is if we don't have Wi-Fi connection we can still control the appliances by using this push buttons so no worry when your internet goes down you can still control the lights and this is not it we can even control the appliances attached to it via our personal smart assistant just like this okay Google turn on bulb Okay, turning on bulb. Okay, Google. Turn off bulb. Turning off bulb. So yeah, this is it about the complete review of this product. I seriously loved this automation product as it got everything which one needs like manual control, automatic control, smart assistant control, etc. A perfect home automation product. I strongly suggest you to go for this if you are thinking to automate your home. Link for buying this product is in the description of this video. Now it's the time for giveaway. So one of my viewer will get this product for free and the rules for the giveaway are something like this. This time it's a bit different. What you need to do is go to my YouTube channel. I hope you already subscribed it. If not, then do it now. Then select your personal favorite video on my channel which you loved the most from which you have learned an amazing thing which have helped you a lot. So open that favorite video, copy its URL, then go to your Facebook account and paste that link here. Now type whatever you feel about this particular video. Type your genuine review about why this video was your favorite video. Then tag me here by typing at the rate techie SMS without spaces and also attach one hashtag, hashtag techie SMS. Then the most important part of this post is you should make your post privacy to public. If it's not public, then I won't be able to see this post and you will not be eligible for the giveaway. So make sure your post privacy is public. Okay, then share this post with the world and after a week, those posts who have maximum engagement will win this product. Engagement means the addition of total number of likes and comments. So share your favorite Techie SMS video right now. Okay, so ending this video here, subscribe my channel if you haven't to learn more awesome projects regarding IoT, automation and electronics. So wait for my next video until then explore, learn, share with me Techie SMS and yeah, Wishing all my viewers a very, very happy new year.